Hey guys, welcome back to Berenice's Math Club. Today's topic is solving two-step equations. So this is a pretty basic topic, okay? So here we have four rules and steps. And so number one says, do the reverse operation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our equations. And if it's being added, we're going to subtract. If, it, there's, if there's subtraction, we'll add. And if there's multiplication, we'll divide. If there's division, we'll multiply. So basically, we're just doing the opposite of the operation, OK? And remember this, that you have to add or subtract first, and then you multiply or divide and when you find the value of x you can always substitute it in order to see whether your answer is correct so this all will make more sense once we go ahead and solve our first example so our first example is 4x plus 8 is equal to 24 so first we have to do the reverse operation which is the opposite operation and first we will do addition or subtraction so here 4x plus 8 8 is being added to 4x. So remember, our purpose of equations is to find the value of x. So we have to get x alone. So we will have to eliminate any other value around the x. So first, since 8 is being added, we'll do the reverse operation by subtracting 8 from both sides. So whatever you do to this side, you have to do to the other side because equations need to be balanced. So the positive and negative cancel each other out, which leaves us with 4x is equal to 24 minus 8, which equals 16. So now we're done with doing the addition or subtraction. Next, it says to multiply or divide. In this case, 4 is being multiplied to x. So in order to eliminate the 4, we'll have to divide both sides by 4. So that means we get x is equal to 4, since 16 divided by 4 is 4. So we get x is equal to 4. Now, if we want to check our answer, we can always substitute the value. So 4, and then substitute the x for 4, which is the value of 4, plus 8 is equal to 24. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 8 is equal to 24. And we know that 16 plus 8 is 24, which is equal to 24. So therefore, our answer is correct. So now, moving on to our next example. This one deals with division and subtraction. So in this case, we have 1 3rd x minus 2 is equal to 16. Remember, first you have to do addition or subtraction, and we're trying to get x by itself, so we're going to have to eliminate the minus 2 by adding 2 to both sides. So we're left with 1 3rd x is equal to 18. Now, 1 3rd is the same thing as 1 divided by 3. So in order to get the division, we have to eliminate 1 3rd, right? So we're going to have to multiply. But we're not going to multiply both sides by 1 3rd. We're going to multiply it by its reciprocal. Reciprocal is basically turning the fraction upside down. So if you turn 1 3rd upside down, you get 3 over 1. So we'll be multiplying both sides by 3 over 1. So these cancel each other out, so we're left with x is equal to 18 times 0, 1. So if we go ahead and do this, 18 over 1 times 3 over 1 is equal to 54 over 1, which is the same thing as 54. So x is equal to 54. So once again, if you want to check the answer, you can always substitute the value in a 54. And then if you go ahead and solve, use the order of operations, you will see that this is the correct answer. OK, so that's all for this video. Now, if you want to find extra practice problems on this topic or any other topic, please feel free to visit our website at bro and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.